welcome to Convo Fango. Today we are joined by director Hannah Bergholm and stars of Hatching, Siri Sorolina and Sofia Hekila. Yay! That was hey. Yeah, it needs some work, but I'll get it on the next Very one. Good. Very <laughs> good. good. Good morning, guys. I guess it's probably afternoon or evening for you, right? Yeah, it's mm -hmm. evening. Oh, all right. Good night, then. All right. <laughs> It's wonderful to see you. Thanks for coming to hang out today. Yeah. Thank you for having us. Absolutely. Um, so I love, we're talking about Hatching, which is premiering at Sundance. I love the kind of like the satire of the facade of influencer life that is in this. Like that just was really funny. And I feel like we're, we're kind of becoming accustomed to that as a culture, right? Um, so it's, I guess mm -hmm. it's more universal <laughs> than, than, it, than what we'd like it to be probably. So it's very funny to see this played out that kind of that like Instagram versus reality. You see this kind of like perfection versus like the chaos that's actually happening behind the scenes, right? <laughs> uh huh. So that was a fun element. Um, can you tell us a bit about what hatching is all about? Yes. Uh, hatching is about a young pre-teenage girl called Dinya, who has uh, this uh, influencer vlogger mother who is uh, presenting her perfect family and especially her talented gymnast daughter uh, through her social media and the daughter does everything to please her mother but she never really really pleases her so uh, she finds a strange egg starts hatching it and out of the egg hatches a creature. <laughs> Amazing. Um, this was also, it, it was, there was a lot of funny moments and then it turns into straight up like horror. Like there was like terrifying moments where it goes way darker than probably anyone is expecting, which was also, I mean, that's, that's my jam. We're here for Fangoria. So that was a lot of fun. <laughs> I was like, okay, I knew it was going to go dark, but I didn't know it was going to go that dark. <laughs> Like, there was a point where I just like, like, I just like covered my eyes. Like, there's no way that this is happening right now. Yeah. yeah. It's a, a little bit traumatizing in like the best possible way. <laughs> Good to hear. <laughs> and it was also heartbreaking to the, the relationship between the mother and the daughter. Uh, you guys just kind of broke my heart with that because it was just, she's so eager to please, you know, and she's just, mm -hmm. it, it is this talented and impressive kid, but it's just not good enough. And just like, the way that you conveyed that, I would, it just it just ripped my heart to pieces, hundred percent. Yeah. Yes, and and, uh, and and I mean, Siri and Sophia, they show wonderful work in that, and we had a long period of uh, rehearsals before the shootings, where they actually got to know each other. So then it was really that uh, about them first, kind of being comfortable with each other yeah. in real life and then to build this character. So in the sea and uh, said it was actually kind of, uh, for me as a director, enjoyable to watch them acting these scenes. Right. Yeah. In hi hindsight, that was so important that we actually got that time. And it's not something we always do before movies, before we start shooting. Uh, so I'm, I'm really grateful that we had that time to get to know each other. That's Help great because it you saved guys us a lot of time. Yeah, I imagine. And you guys really did have such a great chemistry on screen. Like it was very realistic and very believable that this was mother daughter, mm -hmm. right? <laughs> yeah. Um, can you talk a little bit about the creature effects? I don't want to spoil anything, but as much as you can or want to say about yeah. that. Yeah, uh, well, we do have a creature in this film and, uh, and it is an important character. So I really wanted the creature to have real physical presence. So it's not just a digital character. And so I wanted it to be an animatronic puppet, uh, which is a puppet that's facial expressions move with remote control. So I actually then Googled the best animatronic designer in the world. And uh, Google told me that that is uh, Gustav Hergen, who has been the lead animatronic designer in Star Wars films and Prometheus and uh, Jurassic World. So I contacted him and uh, he had just finished the Star Wars films and got uh, interested in a story and agreed to make us the puppet. So we designed the creature in Finland and then Gustav and his team created us this animatronic puppet. And it was shootings, it was actually a lot of fun because it was the Gustav there uh, moving the puppets, the creature's facial expressions with remote controls and there were five puppeteers moving the creature's limbs with rods. So 
there was a lot going on actually yeah. in the <laughs> <Kratos case. laughs> that is so cool star wars i think i've heard of that one maybe <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's quite well known. <laughs> What was that like acting uh, like opposite this like puppet that's being puppeteered and has facial expressions and stuff? Does that make it easier for you as an actor because it's like reacting to you essentially? Uh, uh, well, first I, it was a bit weird. Uh -huh. <laughs> but then I got used to it and it wasn't that hard. Yeah. You didn't make it look weird. You made it look like, you know, like you found this in the woods and you hatched it and now you love it and you're best friends. So <laughs> you're very natural with it. <laughs> there were some parts in this that reminded me. I grew up watching like, you know, like Jim Henson and like Labyrinth and E.T. And there's a part, a part very specifically in this where I was like, this is like E.T. But like the horror version, <laughs> like that most horrific version of E.T. you can imagine. And then like a little bit of parts where it's like, labyrinth but even darker than that which was just like very cool because it's like the stuff kind of that i grew up with yeah but a more adult version that grew up with me right <laughs> yeah that that was really uh those were kind of my references for this uh creature they were also we were talking with our screenwriter Ilya Rautze, with whom we developed this story together with so uh we were talking about that this is kind of the uh et for grown-ups if mm -hmm. et want to kill you maybe right. so uh, so yes uh, but i did want to have in this uh, creature some elements of kind of like uh et like elements so kind of that it's not just bad creature it's mm -hmm. uh, it, it wants to be loved uh, yeah mm -hmm. well that's kind of the theme of the whole movie right is just wanting to be loved and like seeking that different mm -hmm. characters seeking that out in different heartbreaking ways <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sure. and then maybe it's fulfilled but maybe not <laughs> Exactly. And, and, and I think what is uh, wonderful is that this uh, character Tinia is actually kind of portraying the most uh, purest love towards mm -hmm. this creature and she really accepts the creature as the creature is. Yeah, which is why it's so heartbreaking because it's like I, I want this for you and then you're exhibiting this for somebody else and you're just you're ripping my heart out right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, Sophia, what was your favorite part of filming this? Oh, there was, we had so much fun doing it. I mean, people ask me, was it scary at any point? No, it wasn't scary at all. It was just <laughs> fun. Uh, uh, I loved uh, uh, sitting next to uh, Connor O'Sullivan while he was doing his special effect makeup. Uh, I was so starstruck and it was just amazing how he didn't have all the answers on set. He had to try out different qualities of blood, like this is too runny or this is too slimy and let's, try this and here's a scene when um uh, Ali the creature uh, and and there's an incident with the nails in my back and um and we had to figure out because we only had two dresses we couldn't uh, ruin many dresses and how will we do this and how do we get it to look real so that was just the technical bits were really interesting mm -hmm. to yeah. see uh and uh, obviously because the mother never sees the the Ali, the creature in the beginning. Uh, I didn't actually get to see all the the animatronic guys <laughs> dancing around set, but uh, that would have been awesome to see. Too. Yeah. Do you, have you gotten to see the fi the final film at least yet? Yes. You watched. Yeah. Okay, cool. So you've seen yeah. the creature come yeah. to life. And... I've seen that. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> definitely. Yeah. Also, how cool that you get to talk about your work in terms of we were trying to find the best consistency for blood and then an incident with the back. I'm like, that's a pretty cool day at work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> kind yeah. Of a little bit of a dream job for me, at least, right? Like, what blood yeah, is the yeah. right blood for this instance? <laughs> yeah. Well, this is really fun. Is there anything else you guys would like to share with us? Uh, yeah, well, it, it was also very uh, kind of... Um, uh, weird thing for Siri because for her, it, it, we had this uh, uh, special effect makeup designer Connor Sullivan who has two Oscar nominations and she has done he has done amazing work like Game of Thrones and so on and and uh, Siri was playing also this creature and uh, she had this prosthetic makeup and it took like three hours to put it on and one hour to take it off so that was kind of a that's intense was that the first time you've had to wear like that much intense makeup yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah. That's awesome. I, 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 I didn't envy her at no. all. It was, uh, <laughs> she was such a tough, tough cookie. I always yeah. find that so impressive and I'm like, that's so cool, but I don't know if I could actually physically sit for hours and hours on end to like actually have that done, right? Yeah. <laughs> and I, I want to talk so much about that, but I also don't want to spoil because those were some really freaky right. and amazing effects, but I'm like, I just want to let people discover that for themselves. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> awesome. Um. Is, yeah. Do is, you guys have anything else for us? Um, I just want to say that I, I think it's amazing that I'm not very uh, familiar with horror as a genre from before. So um, for me, it's been eye-opening that you can actually uh, tell a story like this, which has a lot of depth uh, and uh, is very universal through horror. I think it's amazing. And I think we've done a pretty good job. I would say so too. And that's the best kind of horror. And look, now there's a new horror fan. That's what... That's what we're here for. <laughs> I was like, you, you talk like a horror fan, actually, when you're like, the consistency of the blood. <laughs> you guys put together such a killer team for this. Like, it is it is so impressive. And everything, it's, it's very whimsical. Like, everything, every detail that you see on the screen, like, even the bedroom, right, with, like, the, the wallpaper. And everything is, like, this whimsical kind of fantasy. And then it turns very dark. But it always has this kind of fantasy kind of element to it, which I just, I love. Like I said, it reminds me of stuff that I was obsessed with growing up, the reason that I love movies, and then just got darker as I got darker, right? Like, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, and I really wanted this uh, film to have this feeling of this little bit uneasy feeling that it's mm -hmm. not totally fairy tale. It's kind of reality, but there's something weird. It's everything is so perfect. So it, because it's the mother's world, so everything so perfectly placed and so lovely, and the colors are so matching, and there's just so much roses that it's kind of uh, creepy. <laughs> it is. It makes you uncomfortable. It it always feels like something is slightly like off kilter, right? You're like it's like mm -hmm. this facade of perfection, but I'm uneasy and I don't necessarily know why I'm uneasy just yet. And then like that uneasiness creeps further and further, but it's like that weird juxtaposition of like the facade versus the, the horrific reality. And not just creature, there's other horrific things that are just, I'm like, oh gosh, the reality is a, a bit of a horror show as well. <laughs> yeah. No, it was an, I, you did an amazing job of kind of balancing that and uh, the performances beautifully brought that out as well it's like very like oh, i'm so perfect but it's like something is very creepy in your smile right now like i, I feel uneasy about this yeah. <laughs> which is so funny to chat with Thank you here you. because you seem just so lovely and genuine you know <laughs> <laughs> i mean they were so amazing and sophia did uh, this mother character is so uh, creepy the way she acted it because the mother is always kind of smiling and telling this love oh my darling my precious darling and and but she's saying kind of horrible things but in, in a very charming way and mm. so the, kind of a uh, creepy and she acted it so well and i mean serious yeah amazing. we auditioned uh, 1200 girls all around what? Finland its part and then we found Siri and she has never acted before anywhere and uh, she's just wonderful. This was your debut, your acting debut out of a thousand two hundred. That's incredible. <laughs> like yeah. I said, you like if you were not amazing in this movie, it would not have worked. Like mm -hmm. there it's it was so dependent upon you like breaking the audience's heart and you did that. So congratulations. <laughs> Man, that's amazing. <laughs> and it's premiering at Sundance. There's not a lot of people, you know, that can say, oh, it was my first time venturing into acting, and now it's at this major film festival. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> right. Well, that's a big deal. Yeah, it's huge. All right. Thank you guys so much. I'm so glad that I got to chat with you. I really enjoyed this, so it was really cool to get to – uh that's the best part of my job. You know, I get to, like, watch something. I'm like, this was such a cool movie. Oh, my God, now I get to talk to the people who made it. This is wild. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> thank you for having us. Absolutely. That's All right. Hatching premieres at Sundance and it will be in theaters and on demand from IFC midnight, April 29th.